Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I have for you a plan with me style kind of video in my memory planner for the week. The binder that I'm using here is the Hello Forever Planner binder from Studio Calico. I have an unboxing and review on this. This is not my favorite binder, but since I have it, I'm going to use it. Um, I probably would like to use maybe a Carpe Diem planner. I really like those um, and they're coming out with new ones in July. So, but the reason I like this is because of how wide it is and how much or how many, what style of inserts it can fit in here so it has this little strap here so I'm just gonna fold that to the back and the thing I do like about this planner is that it has a lot of pockets over here so I like to have things in my pockets that make me feel inspired that make me want to I don't know use the planner stay in the planner and just work through it and actually use it so I just have a to-do list pad some journal cards here some paper clips um, a metal what is this called a magnetic like paper clip I guess and some page flags I have some happy planner stickers and then a piece of scrapbook paper stuck to that a piece of scrapbook paper just to add a little bit of contrast here so then I also have this like sticky note dashboard as well as a camera paper clip sticky note dashboard that's from the Mambi happy planner I just trimmed off where it was where it was punched for the discs washi taped it and punched it in for the six ring binder I did the same thing for this like sticker book from uh, happy planner brand I washi taped over where the disc holes or that I guess the disc punches were and then just punched it to fit in this planner and I do like it because it's just a booklet of washi stickers so that's pretty cool and then I also have this pocket page in here I found that the six by eight pocket pages fit perfectly in this planner the only original punch is this middle one and this one and then I added the two on either side and it fits perfectly in here these are the six by eight pocket pages I'll show you the pocket pages that I use in here in a moment um, but this is the front one it has 12 slots so back and front that's 24 areas for pictures I'm just gonna add one each month whenever I feel like it whatnot so I I think that's really cool to be able to add pocket scrapbooking into your planner this is the only I think the only original thing no I think there's something else original thing from the hello forever planner is just this little um, acetate like dashboard thing I just kept it in here to add a little bit of contrast behind this just just because then I made these laminated dividers I have a tutorial on my channel that I will link below um, where you can learn to make personal size dividers in your using Cricut design space and your Cricut Explorer to cut it out instead of doing personal size and the tabs on the side I use the same exact tutorial and I put the tabs on the top of a page or a I guess a block a square that was the same size as my planner pages I will leave the dimensions of this down below I believe I based them on the Erin Condren which I think is seven by nine so there's that and then this is my June spread I haven't really filled it in that much I'm gonna do that kind of on the go um, or as I move through the month I have a paper clip here because this was my first week in my memory planner and uh, you can see I put a little thing in here that we saw a movie and I just added some stuff in but I didn't want this to be the main thing you saw when you open the planner because that was just a, pl a practice week so I paper clipped it together with this star paper clip here um, and then we move into the last week so this what I normally do it's Sunday right now so I haven't filled in Sunday but what I normally do is I pick a kit for the week and I work off of that kit bringing in some various like I don't know icon I don't know if you would call it icon stickers but various like decorative stickers and it's a plan as you go kind of thing so on Monday I'll go at the end of the day I'll go through and put down what we did what I did on Monday and let me just tell you it's me most of the time and the dog and then when Zach is home Zach too so it's not like we have kids or anything that I'm trying to document but I think it's important to I don't know feel creative and document what you want to document I mean I did project life way long time ago before and it was just me and Zach and the dog so you know that kind of thing so then this is a pocket page as well with some various pocket cards I guess they're what they're called journaling cards and again it's punched in here I'll pop it out and hope you can see maybe if I put on my hand right there the original punch is this middle one right here and then I just punched two on either side so they fit in perfectly like that and then the days of the week and the numbers I stamped using some ink and I printed this on rather hefty paper so there's not too much of a bleed through going on but 
that's what my memory planner, memory planner sort of looks like. So I'm going to be prepping this next week and you can see I haven't stamped the dates in yet. I think I'm going to do that, but I'm really not in the area to be stamping right now. So I might have to do that later. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get a feel of what it is. So what I normally do, this is another thing that actually came with this planner. It's like a page marker is I pick out a mini kit that I want to use for the week. And I just actually found this uh, shop called Cricut Paper Co. And I ordered from her on her like $2 Tuesday two weeks ago. I don't know when this video is going to go up, but I ordered on the $2 Tuesday a few weeks ago. And then I just ordered again on her $2 Tuesday for these little mini kits. I would not use these kits in my big planner, which is my Erin Condren planner, because I like to do no white space in there. This one is purely for decorative and it does have this little, you can order these individually, but I liked ordering these together because you do get seven boxes. You get seven half boxes. You get a weekend banner. You get some, um, little to-do list, you get these guys, some icons, some teardrops, some various thingy things, little habit tracker guys. So there's enough to sort of do a memory planning style layout. So I pick out the, what am I trying to say? I pick out the kit and I store my kits. Let's see, I'll just show you. I just have like July, August, September, just various tabs and it's all the same. There's a month at the front some pocket pages, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna to flip to the back though because I store my, um, keep that there, I store my kits that I'm gonna use in this pouch that I took from an old Erin Condren that I had tried to uncoil. So I have some sticker kits in here. This is the one I used this week. I sort of matched my own colors to this sort of kit that I got from uh, Plan With Samia online. She does have a printable shop, but she also has free printables on her blog. So I used that this week, and you can see I didn't use a lot of them, and so I, I was trying to be conservative, but I think I'm gonna try and not do that this week and use up a lot of the stickers. And then I have some more. Uh, there's a sampler from Cricut Paper Co. And you can see like this goes together, so I'd use this two on one week. Then these two go together, so I'd use this on one week. Um, I have a Scribble Prints Co. Little old school sampler guy here. I have something from Planner Addiction. Um, another one from Planner Addiction. Ones that I made. This is from Scribble Prints as well. So I just keep the, and then this is from a calendar thing that I got in the clearance section of Joanne. So I just keep that all in the back, just things that I might want to use to feel inspired by. I try to rotate them out. So like once I've used a kit for a week, I'll take it out and I'll put it somewhere else in my things to be used. Um, so yeah, so these are some of the inserts, I guess, the pocket pages that I use. This is one that's like a full six by eight. So I store some of these smaller pocket pages and these are from Tim Holtz. And those Tim Holtz ones come in these little guys. I got these from Amazon, I believe, and they are small. I think I took them out. Yeah, they're small. So this one has like three business card size ones. This has a big one here and then a business card size one, three business cards, two like square ones so they just have various sizes or whatnot that you can use in there and I have one already punched in right here I think it's I have to wash it wash the edge and then repunch it but I think it works really well and then other photo inserts I use these are I don't even know what brand this is DCWV got this on clearance from Joann's I have another one that's open here and these are just square ones. So they just have a insert like that and like that. And then you'd have to washi and repunch these. They'd fit maybe like that or something like that. So, and then I also have, here's some of these that are the 12 Insta Pockets or what these are called, but the Snap brand or Project Life brand or whatever makes um, six by eight. Is that what this is? Do, 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 it doesn't say. Doesn't say what binder it's for, but I believe there's six by eight. So if it's a six by eight binder. So there is that. So that's what I do is I pick out a kit, pick out a kit. 
I also tape in a things to do list and usually what I do is I don't have the one from last week but I'll sit on Monday if I don't think I'm gonna plan until maybe Wednesday I'll just take a minute and I'll sit on Monday and I'll start with the thing I'm doing right now and then before that and before that and before that so I can remember back what I've done because it's easier to do that rather than say what did I do this morning because you might forget stuff so I just start from the back and I'll write down okay we had chicken for dinner we watched a little bit of TV I took the garbage out I took sweetie on a walk on the walk we saw baby bunny on I don't know at work this happened or this morning we did this I drank this kind of coffee like just going back and forth or going back in time so you kind of remember better and then I'll do the same thing for Tuesday and then maybe I'll start planning on Wednesday and I'll just like post plan I guess it is so that's taped to the pocket protector page protector guy that I have in here for the week um there's no rhyme or reason to this I the next one is probably is it still it's still four pockets this one is one where it's two four by six no two three by fours and then some little Instagram ones square ones so I just change it up um, and I will also go and try and find some project life or journaling cards that would match the kit that I'm using so I'll either go I just randomly found these on Pinterest and I thought they went really well with this kit like some of them better than others like this one and maybe these two and I might use this part of this I don't know if I'll use that quote but I think they went it went really well with this um, kit that I'm using. So I'll cut those out and I'll just stick them in here to have a little bit of inspiration through the week and I'll do that. Then I go through and I just pick out, whoops, all the washi ever that I think goes with the kit. I just pick out, pick it all out. I just pick out every washi that I have that I think goes with the kit. And I usually try and choose a, let's see here, a thicker washi, a medium washi, and a skinny washi to go through and lay down the washi tape on my pages. So um, let's bring this kit back out and see what washi tape I kind of want to use for this. So I definitely need a pink, and I only have two of these pinks in here. So... Let's see. I probably will use this one. I really like this because that blue goes with that a lot. Um, I also like this one. I think that's really cool, but I don't know how it will go with it all. That one seems like it would be neat. I thought this wood grain would be a nice like contrast. I still might use it. Um, whoops, whoops, whoops. I wish I had a skinny pink washi. So I think I've decided that these are going to be the washi tapes that I use. So I'm going to pop the inserts out here. And what I normally do is I start to lay down the washi and I'm going to take out my little credit card. I wonder if I have any skinny pink washi in here. No. No. Okay, I guess it's not a credit card, it's a Best Buy gift card. Take that out and I start laying down the washi. And I kind of keep this out, I don't know if you can see that, I kind of keep that out. I think I'm gonna use this brown because it's kind of tropical. So it's definitely tropical, I don't know why I said kind of. So I'm gonna use this brown wood grain here. 
and the first thing I do is sort of lay it across the top. If my head comes into frame, I'm sorry. Also, if the camera shakes, I'm sorry. I'm not, like I said, in my normal area. And I just do this as like a base layer for some inspiration. That's literally the only reason I do this. And then I'll take another fun one. So like this and do like a little bit of accents. Um, that's not a straight edge. So we'll lay it down like this. Whoa. Sometimes I take it all the way to the edge of the box and sometimes I don't. This is hard to do. And sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to pull it back up. Okay, and then I will also use it over here because you want to create balance. And mm, I think I'm gonna use some of this pink anyway because I'm not, I don't have a lot of pink. And I will take some and run it. And then I'll also take this over here. I'm just creating a fun framework for stuff. That's all I'm really doing. There really isn't a rhyme or reason to it. Um, I think I'm gonna take this one and run it along the bottom. this. Maybe I'll do it down here. No, I'll do it up here. And then... like this and do some more oh this is really weird sticky layering This washi I think is from Easter from Target, I'm pretty sure, from like a year ago. So that is the base framework here. I think I might go ahead and lay down my weekend banner. That's what I did last week. I'm assuming the K is the middle. That worked really well. And then I will go in and stamp the dates. Let me try to do that now. So I'm going to use, this is a horrible thing. I'm going to use this Versamagic multi-surface chalk ink. I might use, I think this is what I used last time. These are from Marion Smith. Got to get my block out. I also have this that has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday 
on it. Mm, now I'm not gonna use it. So then I have these guys in here. Oh, I gotta go get my numbers. Maybe it's these I used last time, I guess. I could look. No, I didn't use these. Should I use these? No. Okay. So we'll do the I'm gonna use the back of this as a place to dump my stamps off on. So Why am I doing Sunday? Monday. I feel like this is gonna be hard. And the numbers I like to use for my dates are actually from this Target dollar spot thing that was $3. And I love these for my dates. So, let's see here. So, five. So, this is Monday is going to be the sixth. They're really great. And these, I mean, these, you really have to practice, but. I told you I'm not in the best place to be doing this. And it's making me sad a little bit. So I think that looks good for me messing it up a little bit. And I do have my stamp collection storage up on my channel. I don't really, the only stamping I do in this planner is the dates. I don't really do a lot of other kinds of stamping in this planner. Oops, I keep hitting the thing. No. I could put this one. Actually, I think I will put... I feel like there's more than one sheet here. I think I will put this. Let's do this sticker right up here. 
Haha. Uh -huh. Just as I keep hitting the lights, just as something to have right there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do too much more. So yeah, so that is just how I set it up, and then throughout the rest of the week, I will sit down uh, at the end of the night or whatnot and put my plans together. Um, and I'll just take various stickers. I have various icon, um, not icon, but like decorative kind of stickers too that I will put down to mark what I do, which I'm gonna start having a lot of those on for free on my blog. So you can see these colors really go well together and then you know I'll just say oh I want to put a full box here as I plan chronologically from the start of the day um, and I will also add in my pocket cards too when it comes to it yeah I really like doing this this is gonna be my like third week doing it but I really think I'm gonna keep up with it I think it's gonna be really fun to do especially if I can get these little kits from Cricut Paper Co I mean obviously I can make my own kits but it's fun to have something else to work with and I need to stop hoarding stickers so I figured this is a reason to buy more but also not to hoard um, so yeah I think this is gonna be really really cute this would be a really cute little spread for like a vacation too but I really think this wood grain goes nice with it because it's kind of like palm screen palm spring tropical or whatever and the layering of the washi so this is that finished spread for the Cricut Paper Co um, kit that I used I really think this turned out super duper cute I have a baby covered over here that's why I have the sticky note on it but I also used some Mambi um, what do you call it Mambi stickers here and here but then I also used this lazy day sticker that came with the kit to mark how cute my best friend's little baby is uh, she's laying on the dog right here and it just looks so funny and this is how I feel right now to go with that um I like this kit I love how it came together so pretty much this was the a spread I worked on at this planner meetup that I went to on Thursday where to say yep yeah, Thursday here and I actually had a planner meetup on Saturday or on Sunday and I have to put the photo in I'm going to print this week's photos today so um, I'm a little bit behind here um, actually I'm right on time for this week but I have to since I'd already printed my photos on Saturday I have to add one in on Sunday so anyway I just laid it down every not every day because I went to the planner meetup and I worked on here so I used my little sheet this is the sheet from this week which I did not keep very well but each day I wrote down everything starting from what happened right now and going backwards all the way up until Thursday and then when I came to the meetup on Thursday I just planned everything out I kind of based it off of my plans that I did in my planner and then also the memory keeping that I wrote down and just things like that so I really think that this came together so nicely I love the whole like pocket page thing in there and it just it just looks really really nice so um, yeah and these are free on my blog this is a vacation countdown I think I have some of them here you get this and then also these little icons so you can mark when you actually end up on your vacation and my vacation is not this week not this week but this is July the first week of July so I'm excited to go there um, but yeah so that is it I don't have the sticker kit that I used anymore I think I threw it away I think the only thing I had left was the like long um, page flag type of checklist and I used a lot from that kit and I actually just ordered a butt ton of Cricut Paper Co kits for my uh, memory planner I just love it I think they work really really well in this type of planner I just really think they they do so that is the week of the 6th through the 12th in my memory planner um I am going to try to get into filming more plan with me videos I've just been uninspired I've really been loving this planner and I'm kind of taking a step back from my other planners I like put stickers down and I'm like I don't really know why I'm doing this but this week I'm trying to get back on track so um yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video I will give you a sneak peek of what went down in my memory planner for the actual week that it is when I'm filming this but this will be last week when you're watching this so there's that and then this week the week that you are watching this is actually a memory planning kit that I put together that's going to be free on the blog it is um journaling cards and then also this planner printable and you 
It has a silhouette file and a PDF file. You may be able to manipulate this if you use a Cricut. You may be able to manipulate it to use it in your Cricut. However, I couldn't really, the things I wanted to include, I couldn't get it to fit in the six by eight area. So I plan on having more um, Cricut, what do you call it? Cricut stickers. I just haven't really had time. So this is this week. This is last week. And this is the week before last. So, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. I'll talk to my next one. Bye.